All right, Monster Jam fans, you've seen racing, you've seen long jump, and triple threat racing, and now it is finally time for freestyle. So here is the track for today, more obstacles, got the double stack in the same place, we got a crush car staircase, we got the cold train staircase, not sponsored, and of course a triple, and a mega triple, and a Monster Jam cup I forgot to remove, there we go. All right, so we will be doing dual freestyle again. Did a poll on YouTube asking if I should do it again, and uh, well, everyone said yes. Well, almost everyone there was, um, said no. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to kick it off with our two first champions, Gravedigger and Wolfshead, followed by Bounty Hunter and King Sling. Although King Sling didn't win. Bounty Hunter needed somebody to go up against. And it will be a six for Gravedigger and Wolfshead. So, since they're on this one first, we're going to kick it off with the Coltrane Train Staircase. Nice air by Gravedigger. And here comes Wolf's Head. Getting a much bigger jump. Even though it came up short. Oh, and here, here is a sign that I ran out of spray paint. Like, that was the last of it. Alright, hit two. Taking on the double stack on the far end side. And cross threads into the Mega Triple. Let's see what Wolf's Head can do. And it goes even further. And hit number three. Going for the crush car staircase. And it goes across the track. But let's see what Wolf's Head can do. And it does the same, but comes up a little shorter. And next it going for the triple. Gravedigger going first. Nicely done. Yeah, and now here comes Wolf's Head, who won long jump on the triple. And down he goes. Not having problems going down, but that was not his final jump. Although I need to fix that ramp now. And hit number five, taking on the middle jump, the, tr the mega triple. And nice jump by Gravedigger, landing directly on the mega can. Let's see if Wolf's Head can do better. And he does land directly on the down ramp and keeps on going. Nicely done by Wolf's Head. Wow. That was like, that was beautiful. That was perfect. And now they got one last jump. They're going to they're gonna take on the triple one more time. The regular size one. Gravedigger going first. And your leader is Gravedigger. Well, let's see if Wolf's Head can knock him down. And having problems going down, we are going to try that again. We do this with, with all the trucks. No special treatment for Wolf's Head. And Wolf's Head can't seem to keep it straight. I guess it's a little crooked. Alright. One last try for Wolf's Head before we move on. And gets a decent jump. Hits the crush cars and... Over he goes. So Gravedigger is the truck to beat. And our next next couple trucks. Bounty Hunter and King Sling. Bounty Hunter will go first. That's one uh, uh, triple threat racing. And it will be a one. One hit for both trucks. So we're going to start off. We're going to go for the middle jump. No, not to that. Oh, problem for Bounty Hunter. Nice save though. Try that again. And nicely done by Bounty Hunter. But here comes King Sling. And comes up just a little short. Meaning Gravedigger remains your leader. And now for our next duel. Spider-Man and Obsession. Both trucks came so close to winning racing. Let's see if they have better luck in freestyle. As they get two hits... So you know what, we're going to go for the regular size triple. Spider-Man going first. Oh. And Spider-Man will not get the win. Yeet. Into the bag. Let's see if, if Obsession can do better. Oh, oh, problems for Obsession going down. He gets a couple more tries. Oh. 
And, oh, man. So close, but Gravedigger remains your leader. And now for our next duel. Double Trouble and Brodozer. So Bro Double Trouble will go first. No. I'm going to try that again. It's got to land flatter than that. Oh, let's roll it here. All right, another two. So going for the triple. It's double trouble. Out of bounds, double trouble. Not getting the win. Giving Brodozer a chance to take the lead. And here he goes. And then I bump the disc. And runs into Gravedigger. And, uh, uh, yeah, Grave Digger's right there. And, uh, oh. Oh. New leader, Brodozer. Yeah, Grave Digger's right there. That's why I moved it. No, no special treatment for Brodozer. Who is your new leader? And you know what? Uh, make sure he doesn't get moved. I should have done this er earlier. All right. Truck to beat, Brodozer. All right, our next pair of trucks. Time Flies and Earthshaker. Roll the dice. Another two. All right. All right, going for the triple as Time Flies is going first. And problems going down. Just messing up the support. Earth's down here. Okay. All right. All right, try it again. Attempt number two for Time Flies. And I lost control on the way down, but still managed to hit the ramp and get a wonky jump out of it. I mean, what even was that? Well, let's see what Earthshaker can do. Hoping to take down the Brodozer. And having some problems. This ramp is cursed. Alright, let's try that again. And lands in the same place as time flies. Manages to get a save, but Brodozer remains your leader. And now for our next pair of trucks War Machine and Axe. Alright, A5, that means they're gonna hit every obstacle out, out here. I'm slipping everywhere. Alright, start off with the double first. And nice jump by War Machine. Let's see what Axe can do. And lands flat on all four BKC tires, getting caught between the wall and the obstacle. All right, next jump, going for the crush car staircase. One of those smaller jumps that loses control and stuffs it right in, it, making it a little steeper. Let's see if Axe can climb it. And does the same thing, only cartwheels over everything. Alright, hit three, taking on the, the Mega Triple. Here goes War Machine. Totally not Ice Cream Man. And over he goes. Nice jump. Let's see what Axe can do. I think Joe Foley needs a spot in the main in World Finals field. Changed my mind. And does the same move as War Machine, only doesn't get that far. Showing no mercy to that Mega Can, which has been here since the 4th of July special. Now finally destroying it. Alright, next hit. Going for the Coal Train Staircase. War Machine going for it first. And get some nice air. But here comes Axe to do the same thing. If he can keep it friggin' straight. I'm gonna need to replace that can. The can's getting crushed and it's not even part of the track. Alright, that's more like it. Lands on the Mega Triple. And finally going for the regular size triple for their final jump. War Machine going first. And just front flips into the triple. And I'll get him out of the way since this is going to be Axe's last jump. Alright, here goes Axe. And over he goes. Oh, oh yeah, that that has the barrier. See that? Leave it. Yeah, I should probably put something there. 
But anyways, Axe will not get the win. Your leader still the Brodozer. Oh yeah, I know what I can put there. There we go, that's more like it. That just makes it easier. All right, so Brodos are still your leader, but here comes Metal Militia and Mohawk Warrior, who I believe were like tour mates in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like they'd be paired to get other everywhere on the 2015 tour. Todd LaDuke and BJ Johnson. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, three. So Mohawk Warrior will be kicking things off. Starting with the Mega Triple. And some nice air by Mohawk Warrior, but let's see what Metal Militia can do. Let's hope it's Todd LaDuke driving, because we might see a LaDuke leap. And sort of saw one. All right, hit two, going for the double on the very far end. And try A to combo it by going for the triple, but the triple got the better of him. But let's see what Metal Militia can do. All right, does better try to do a backflip, but gets stuck on the nose. All right, final hit going for the triple. Mohawk Warrior going first. And some nice air. But here comes Metal Militia. And Mitt loses control going down. Still managed to hit the ramp. Goes off to the side. Meaning Brodozer remains your leader. All right, moving on. All right, next up, Grease Trap and Venom. One. All right, go, going for another one. All right, take on the triple, hoping to take down Brodozer, who really set the bar high. Grease Trap going first. Oh! And new leader, Grease Trap. All right, so Brodozer is done. And you know what? Since I got these here, yeah, what? Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, so Grease Trap is a new leader, but let's see if Venom can take him down. The only other Bel Air in this lineup. We'll see Avenger later. But here goes Venom, who, who wipes out, fell off the track. So we're gonna try again. Oh, oh that, that, that's backwards. Try again. And he also goes into the wall. And he's closer to the wall, so new leader, Venom. So Venom has set the bar even higher. But let's see what Wildflower can do. Followed by Raisin Cane. All right, four hits. Four hit hits for Raisin Cane and Wildflower. Well, Wildflower's gonna go first. And nice front flip by Wildflower. Let's see what Raisin Cane can do on that jump. Oh, out of bounds. Into the other trucks, landing on bad company. Like, wake up, buddy, you're next. All right, hit two, going for the, mi the middle jump, the mega triple. And having problems going down. Luckily, that wasn't the final jump, so Wildflower will have another chance later. As Raisin Cane goes. Oh, nicely done. And next hit, going for the Cold Train in Staircase. Nice air by Wildflower. Let's see Raisin Cane do the same. And lands on the half painted can. Goes slightly further. All right, last hit, going for the triple. Wildflower going for it first. And over she goes. But well, here comes Raisin Cane. And lands in the same place as Wildflower, meaning Venom remains your leader. All right, next up in freestyle, Bad Company and King Crunch. And it will be a four for King Crunch and Bad Company. 
So Bad Company kicking it off with the Coltrane Energy Staircase. Not sponsored. And lands flat on all fours. Let's see King Crunch do the same. No, that was that was even worse. Well, it's a new chassis, working out all the kinks. All right, hit two, going for the double. And get a weird jump by Bad Company. Let's see E. King Crunch do better. Um, in the same spot. Oh, uh oh, we'll go slightly further and over the wall. Fortunately, nobody was standing there. All right, X hit number three, going for the mega triple, and and it goes pretty far, but not far enough. Now here goes King Crunch, and it comes up a little short. That was not the final jump. They got one more jump to go, one last chance to take down Venom. I forgot who it was for a second. As they line up for the triple stack. Down goes Bad Company, and over he goes, and finally King Crunch. I'll focus, thank you. And mi missed the ramp, fell off the track, he's going to get another chance. And managed to keep it straight uh, up until the ramp, and comes up short, so Venom remains your leader. All right, next up in freestyle, Captain USA and Iron Man. Well, I need to grab the dice. And it's going to be a three. All right, let's do this. Captain USA and Iron Man. Oh, yeah, just sit there. All right, Captain USA starting it off by going for the double sack. Nicely done. Now here comes Iron Man to do the same. Oh, problems going down. All right, next up, up going for the Mega Triple. And lands on, on the on the half painted energy drink can. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Now right, here comes Iron Man. And comes up short. All right, one last chance to take down Venom. Going for the triple. Here goes Captain USA. And comes up short. Once again, Captain USA not getting the win. He's been struggling all year. He'll get one eventually. And next up, here comes Iron Man. Oh! And Venom remains your leader. All right, our next pair of trucks, Nightstorm and Avenger. Avenger looking to take down on uh, the other Bel Air. And it's going to be another three. We're getting a lot of threes. All right, Nightstorm kicking it off. Am I going for the double first? And over he goes into the wall. We'll see what Avenger's got. And does the same only lands on the opposite side. Alright, next up, going for the triple. The mega triple, that is. And nice save by Night Storm. Well, let's see what Avengers got. And a nice bounce. Uh, that cannon is so warped, it's sending them in all sorts of directions. And last, last up, the, the regular size triple for their third hit. Nightstorm going first. Oh. Oh. Hit the corner. Came so close. But Venom remains your leader. But here comes Avenger. Oh. I thought he was going to pull out of that. And keep rolling, but nope. Venom remains your leader. We're almost to the end of this. Next up, Salvager and Lucas Stabilizer. All right, roll the dice. Oh, it is a six. It's been awesome since we've gotten one of those. 
All right, Salvager, kicking things off with the, the car staircase. Forgot what it was called for a second. Nice jump, but let's see if Lucas Ableizer can do better. And goes a little bit further. And next up, going for the Coltrane staircase. All right, nicely done. Nice air. And here comes Stabilizer. And comes up a little short. All right, next hit. Number three, going for the double stack. And a hard landing. And now let's see Lucas Stabilizer do the same. And slams right into Salvager. Looking like a demolition derby down there. All right, hit four, going for the triple. Oh, unbelievable there by Salvager. Let's see what Lucas Stabilizer can do. And does the same move, almost. All right, we'll circle back to, to the triple after er, the mega triple. For a hit five. So the Salvager going for it first. Now here comes Stabilizer. And what even was that? All right, final jump for the both of them. Going back to the triple. Salvager going first. Oh. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, let's see if Stabilizer can take him down. Although, I should probably move Salvager. So, Venom remains your leader. But here goes Stabilizer. And comes up way, way too short. Meaning Venom remains your leader. Alright, we're down to four trucks now. Yep, this is all in one part. So our next couple trucks, Bigfoot and Gravedigger the Legend. No Gravedigger this time since uh, Gravedigger went first. And it'll be a five for Bigfoot and the Legend. So we're going to kick things off with the Coltrane Staircase. And over it goes. Let me get him out of the way. Now Gravedigger the Legend is going to do the same. Way better. Now Bigfoot going for the Crush Car Staircase. And whoa. I don't even know what that was. That was, that was weird. Now Gravedigger the Legend coming to do the same. And guess a much better jump. Alright, next up. Going for the double. Bigfoot going next. And the same move as everyone else has made on that jump. But let's see what the Legend's got. He lines up for that jump. Alright, much better. Alright, next up going for the middle jump. The Mega Triple. And problems for Bigfoot. Getting out of the way. And here comes Gravedigger the Legend. Much better. Alright, now their last jump going for the triple. Bigfoot hitting it first. And off to the side. Bigfoot will not get the win. Well, let's see if Gravedigger the Legend has what it takes. And down he goes. Oh, oh. And Gravedigger the Legend will not get the win. All right, our last two trucks. The only ones with a chance to take down Venom. Max D and Son of a Digger. And it's going to be a six... Let's go. Son of a Digger going first. Starting off with the Crush Car Staircase. Yeah, that staircase is done. But Maxi is about to finish it off. And he gets a nice jump out of it. Landing on the middle Mega Can. And now going for the Coltrane Staircase. And nice front flip by Son of a Digger. Let's see what Max D can do. And does the same thing, only landing on the middle Mega Can. And, and next up, going for the double. Off to the side. See what Max D's got. 
All right, they they can't keep it straight. That that ramp is that ramp is done. It, look at that! Wow, it was working well for a while. All right, next up, going for the mega triple, and it keeps it on all four back into the wall. Right, here comes Max D, and over he goes. All right. They both got one final jump. One last chance to take down Venom. So will we crown a new champion? Or a, a champion who's won before? Alright, son of a digger going for the triple. And son of a digger is not going to get the win. But here comes Max D. And your winner is Venom. And the one behind the wheel of Venom. It's Antonio Rodriguez III. We have crowned a new champion. Brand new name, Venom. I'm going to go ahead and celebrate. And that's why he's a freestyle champion. And now for all five champions to go. Or no, four, sorry. Our racing champion, Grave Digger. Our long jump champion, Wolf's Head. Our triple threat racing champion, Bounty Hunter. And our freestyle champion, Venom. Wow. And to close this video out, all four of them are going to go at once. Wow. And Bounty Hunter was a nice save, and Wolf's Head and Venom got got stuck in each other. All right, this has been Slam Series 13, Season 11. Congratulations to our four champions: Pangeo Wait, the Phenomenal 5155, Doctor Strange, the Cat, and Arnie, and Antonio Rodriguez the Third, and Venom. Thank you for joining, and I hope to see you in the next Slam Series the lineup will be posted probably Sunday. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be in Elden, Two Extreme Monster Trucks Live. I hope to see you there. Until then, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, share this video, and see you later.